Okay, now we're in the temple. We are here. So now I got this little number. I got this little. Well, I don't need the deed. You do need the stick, though. I do need the <laughs> stick. The stick's very important. Not sure why yet, but. Oh no. Ew. It also makes the fairies float to you. Ugh. It's useful. I know, I just don't like it. It just freaks me out. Yeah, it's kind of gross. But guess what? So is having shit. Oh. So is having your colon clean, but that's also useful. Useful things come in gross packages. Yeah. Look at, um... What's floating after you? What is that? They're... I forget what they're called. Are they little dust sprites? No, they're little fucking assholes is they, what they are. They cute, though. They cute, though. Yo, them them sprites single? Nah, I mean... Um... I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> Get that, that flower. That was my impression yeah. of Jamie Kennedy. Oh. So, I'm if you look at it that way, it's actually very funny. <laughs> I'm surprised we haven't had any interactions with the bees, because I've seen several beehives. Yeah. So no bees. A thing I remembered about the bees, actually, is that, yeah. that is, that's not um, new to this game. <clears throat> bees were a thing in, uh, in Link to the Past, oh, okay. actually. Uh, well, except you could bottle them. You could bottle the bees. Oh, really? Yeah. What were they used for? So if you bottled bees in Link to the Past, you could set them out, and they would, like, circle you and uh -huh. do damage to folks around you. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Um, so these things, once again, you have to be a Deku because if you're a, if you're a human boy... They will eat you? They will eat you. Yeah. Fuck. Fuck me. It looks like teeth. Yeah. They do look- this temple freaked me out when I was a kid. I- yeah, I can't imagine why. Cause there's the music, the like... Bum, ba, da, bum, 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 bum. Yeah. It's like, all tribal and then occasionally it's interrupted by like, some weird just, chanting. Yeah. Um... I would definitely feel like I'm about to be sacrificed. I actually read- I read a thing. I don't know- I don't know... How accurate it is? Yeah, because I remember doing research into it and being like, that is interesting, but I uh, I don't remember if I verified it myself. Gotcha. Ooh, can I just go over this right now? What is it? What is in this yeah. chest? Yeah. What's give, inside you? Give me the booty. It's a key. Yeah. Uh, Seems important. Yes, small keys are very important. There, no, I read that this, this particular soundtrack um originally they sampled some like islamic chants oh and there but there ended up being like a big stink about yeah didn't they have to change it or something well i think i think it was purely for the american translation they had to change it oh. because uh in japan they don't really hold things sacred yeah they... like they're... they're just like whatever we'll use this yeah, well, they're not a very religious country no. to begin with. Um, like, they have their superstitions, but it's weird to, like... I think it's weird when Americans judge other countries for their superstitions, as if, like, most of America doesn't believe in um, the Bible. Yeah. They believe in some pretty weird shit, man. It's just a perspective thing. Yeah. Honestly. I've, I've been through the Bible a lot, and that's a weird book. It is a pretty weird... It's also a terrifying book. And that's, yeah. I mean, that's just as weird to me. Just culturally, we get it, because we've been raised in it. Oh, you jump in the chest when you're a Deku? Yeah, because you're cute small. cute as fuck. But yeah, I mean, in Japan, they don't really hold those things sacred, so, like, they used Islamic music, and then, and then they had to change it for the North American version, because we were like, whoa, we're not using... We're not using this, are you kidding me? Huh. But, uh, yeah, we didn't, we didn't really, uh, I, I mean, I didn't give a shit. It's, and they approximated it. Yeah. For our version. It's still, uh, it's still a freaky-ass song. Yeah. You know, I don't think it has to be Islamic for some kind of, like, story thing. Yeah. I think it's just what they had. Huh. Anyway, like I said, I didn't verify it. It could totally be false. Yeah, but some it, weird rumor shit. But it definitely seems like a thing that could have happened. 
just knowing both countries culturally. Yeah. Oh, there's a, um... Why is the mask on that block? I think the implication is that he, he, like, he was here and fucked up the temple. Which is absolutely true. Oh, okay. Way. That's the reason this, this whole temple is supposed to be, like, a holy place. But it's spooky, because he came and fucked but, it up. <laughs> yes, that is the most succinct way of putting it. Awesome. It is spooky because he fucked it up. <laughs> um, I wanna, oh, it's over there. Yeah, so I need fire <clears throat> to get through that cobweb. Okay. I want to get it up to that torch. Where do you get the fire from? Well, I have a stick, don't I? Oh, yeah, you have a stick. Oops, I don't need you to look at that. I have a stick, and there's a torch over here. The problem is those those bugs that are around it. The spider, skeleton spiders? No, 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 no. The bugs that are surrounding the fire. Oh, like... The tiny moths. I guess they're not so tiny, they're pretty big. It wouldn't be a problem if they weren't fucking assholes. Okay. They're... Can you kill them with the bubble? No. The moths? Yeah. Absolutely not. How do you kill them? You don't. Oh. You, you just have to gotta. Stick out. <laughs> <laughs> you wait the stick out. Let's just see, that one's trapped in a bubble. That fairy over there. Yeah. You see it? I see it. Oh, they follow you? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, they follow you because they're following the fire. But I think they're I... They're gone now. I think I actually want to push this block back the other way. Because that'll make this shorter. Instead of having to go the long All way. The way around, oh my yeah. god. I'm trying... I think on my last playthrough I didn't do that. And I just ran uh -oh. this huge gauntlet. Oops. That's not what I want. Oh god. So the fairies that are in the bubbles, yeah. uh, you can't you can't wear the mask and they'll come to you. You have to break them out of the bubble. Yeah, because they're stuck in a bubble. So you like this, and that opens up. Cool. Um, uh, and the moths move over there. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking Whoa. And then you have these guys. They're angry. They're the worst, dude. But at least it's better when they're, like, they're not a big deal when you're um, not desperately trying to not get knocked off. Yeah. Wait, so <clears throat> we talked to the monkey and he taught us a song. So now what are we trying to do? Now we're trying to, so the temple's been poisoned. Right. Clearly shit's fucked up. Right. And the temple is the source of uh, purity for the swamp, which so now the water oh. is poisoned. Okay, so we're trying to purify the temple so the swamp's better? <clears throat> yes, that's what the okay. monkeys were looking into. And they enlisted the Deku princess to help them. Because gotcha. the monkeys and the Dekus were friends. So the Deku princess came to investigate the swamp and got captured. Gotcha. So she's somewhere in the in Woodfall. So if we bring her back, then they won't kill the monkey because she's obviously not kidnapped? Exactly. Okay. Cool. So we're trying to find her? Yes. Sweet. Also, I can't remember how to get that fairy. Oh, I do remember actually, but I can't yet. Okay. I kind of figured it would be like... Oh shit, I'm gonna fucking die. Oh no. Oh no. The poison water. Wait, I have a fairy. Oh, but I made it out. So this is not gonna help you? No, we're just gonna have to listen to this Great. for a little bit. Ugh. Oh, fucking... And yeah, the moths hurt you. Oh, no. Oh, god damn it. I forgot that that was already there. <laughs> I didn't realize that it stayed. This music definitely uh, adds to the anticipation. Right? They found, like, the perfect noise. To make you uh, anxious as fuck. Yeah, maybe there's, maybe there's hearts. Ooh, yes. yeah. Oh, Zelda never does that for me. <laughs> I think they, they know I'm shooting a, a, shooting a highly, highly regarded internet video. Yeah, sure are. Boom, and that's, that's, we're here now. What spider web is strong enough that you can't hit with a sword? Uh, you've seen the size of the spiders in this game, right? I see them, but it's their spider webs made out of, like, fucking... Dude, you know scientists are still, like, studying spider silk to try to figure out how to make material that strong? Yeah, I think they're pretty close. 
No, because they just found more, like, new... Every time they think they're close, they find a new species of spider that makes an even stronger web. Right. Well, I know that they have technology based off of, um... What is it? Silk? Spider silk? Yes, but I, I, there is technology that exists based off of uh, what they've found so far. Yes. But, like, if we could... But we can't imitate it Yeah, completely. if we could... We would have, like, the bombest armor ever Oops. if we could. Yeah. I mean, that shit is just crazy strong. If I kill all these dudes, by the way... Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure a chest appears. We'd have the strongest hammocks. Yeah. We would have the world's <laughs> strongest, strongest hammocks. Man. <laughs> we should hey. jump in on that, like, right now. Invest in spider silk. Oh uh, yeah. I mean, it's so gonna... we can build the world, <laughs> have the world's strongest hammocks. Yeah. Yeah. You don't sound like a lunatic. At all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, see, this is the shit that bothers me. Is when it's like you have to a fly harrowing, through a harrowing flies. platform where I have to fly through the dragonflies. They've got like weird skulls too. They do. It's horrifying. Reminds me of like um, the alien from Alien. Yes. <laughs> wow, how did I know it was going there? I don't know. Okay, if I can just, if I could just. <laughs> wow. Wow. Made it. Wow. Fucking clutch. You did it, dude. All right, we we've got we've got a lot of this temple done. Nice. Um, we have the map, we have the compass. It's not as, uh, <laughs> it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. No, it's really, I mean, the first temple is always kind of like, Alright. This is a temple. Okay. Welcome to the temple. Although, I, I do think this stuff is rated differently, just because of, um, the whole time situation. The fact that there's really only four temples. Oh. That's true, huh? So it's not like, like in other Zeldas, it's like the first two or three or four are like dog shit. Yeah. Not like bad or not fun, but they're usually pretty easy. Yeah. And this one's more like, I don't know, they have to be quick enough that you can do them. Yeah. Uh, within the three day time limit. But also, uh, you know, the first one's got to be fairly easy to get you used to the idea. Yeah, of traveling through a temple. Right. But it also can't be super easy, because that's a quarter of the temples, you know? Yeah. But again, I think they put a lot of their stock in this game in um, discovering discovering the world. And yeah, uh, doing the side stuff. It feels different than the other Zelda games. Doesn't it? Than it... I've seen, because like the other Zelda games, you the whole point is going through temples, it seems like. Which is, I mean... Uh, Which some people some people don't like that. I I like dungeon crawling. Yeah, it's fun. So I don't mind it at all. I thought it, like, for example, like Wind Waker, which is the one I probably played like the most. Fuck. Um, it was fun. I liked it. Like, and there was like world exploring in that one also. But like, oh totally. Wind Waker is super not... expansive, and it's a very pretty game. But it's not as focused on world exploring as this game. I feel like. Also, um. But Wind Waker, I think, I mean, I'm glad you brought that up, because I feel like that one's more akin to this game than, than the Ocarina, other ones. Yeah. which it's a direct sequel to. Because yeah. Wind Waker also follows a different format, where there's not really a ton of temples. It's true. Uh, like, compared to, so Ocarina, you've got, oh shit. Ah. So this is the, this is the mini boss. Ew. It's like some fucking hot rod, like... Frog. This, this Andy Samberg frog. <laughs> <laughs> Andy and Frogberg. He, and then he calls his turtle wow, friend, which is garbage. That's insane. I'm just going to turn into a sad Deku for this part. Okay. <laughs> Fuck me. He has the same color scheme as like the fucking hot rod. Yeah, you, no, <laughs> I know you weren't referring to the Andy Samberg movie, but he does look like a. That's uh, really funny. Nice switch out of Deku. And like this ah! game. Fuck. He's climbing up walls now. Yeah, because I have the bow and arrow now. So this game makes you, uh, 
really makes you think. Fuck me. Sorry, it's there's not C buttons on the classic controller, it's an analog. Ooh. Ooh. So that's why I was clicking right away. Okay, him falling down is so creepy because it just reminds me of when you kill a spider on a wall and it falls <laughs> down and it's like probably the most it does. horrifying he's, part about killing he's a spider. He's a spider turtle frog. Ugh. And this isn't like even the all. last you see of him. Really? He comes back? There's another frog boss, yeah. Oh, man. Because there's this whole... One of the side quests that I'm not going to do is... uh, <laughs> It's this whole thing where you... um. You're trying to bring this frog choir back together. <laughs> and uh, you'll see when I kill this guy, he'll be uh, he'll be like a little normal frog. <laughs> Come on. Was it like a reunion? Yeah, you try to bring them all together. I think you get a heart container for it. Oh, that's cool. Uh, oh. Yeah, see? He's just normal frog. He's like, oh, I'm He's sorry, Majora made me weird and evil. Yeah. And <laughs> I like it too because there's a very drastic physical change. Yeah. It's not like he's like, oh, Majora made my heart evil. He's like, like no, man, I was a different body. dude. Yeah. He was really into that because like, he cursed you to be a Deku. Yeah, he does like uh, changing forms. I wonder if that's like says something about him, you know? Or like dysmorph. what his powers are. Because uh, yeah. I mean, it's kind of unclear. Like, yeah. he can control the moon, and he's obviously got some kind of, like, super strength. Yeah. And, um... I don't know, he's just, he's just all around... He's just all around kind of a fucked up there's, guy. Yeah, but there's something, like, particular about, like, changing someone's changing entire someone's body. Form. Yeah. yeah. There's, like, some deeply ingrained personal problems there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so now I, I can get this to move. I'm, I'm almost done with this temple. Nice. In case anybody is concerned about the time. Oh, no, they got all the time in the world. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, sorry, to go back to the Wind Waker thing. Um, I oh, think yeah. it's I think it's more akin to this because it's it's less about um, the dungeon crawling because, like I was trying to say before I got distracted, uh, Ocarina has a ton of dungeons. There's the three. Um, God, what is it? There's. Oh, you got it. This one. <clears throat> There's the three while you're a kid, and then there are seven when you're an adult. Ugh. That's ten dungeons, and then there's Ganon's Tower. All right. So it's a whole, it's a whole situation, and uh, this game. Oh man, this fucking part. You got it. Oh, wow. I didn't even mean to do that. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna go on one of these and sort of face the flame. I wish this wasn't inverted. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, guys, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, man. I'll get used to it eventually. Ah. Uh, I wish I could just jump over to him with a torch, but they're like, no, be the... So you have to shoot the arrow through the fire and to the other one. Yeah. Okay. Um... Damn it. <sighs> so Ocarina's got a lot of dungeons, and, um... This really, it really just has the four. Ooh, yes! Oh, yeah! Fuck yeah, I fucking did it. Never a doubt. That Never a doubt. That fucking bomb. That is the hardest part of this dungeon. <laughs> just <laughs> saying. Shooting the arrow. Yeah. So, is this... This is the last room before the boss. Okay. So we are, we are finishing on this episode. Um, I mean, it might be a little bit, I mean, it's already a little bit long. <laughs> I mean, one day we'll get a hang of it. One day. Mm. I'm, I'm really not worried about the times, though. Not today, though. I just, I don't Ew. think it's a big concern for me. <laughs> <laughs> I just like to play the games. Yes, that is true. Whoa. Whoa. 
That was fucking... That was super uncool. Yeah. Was... Oh, I'm glad I, sp I spawned here, though. You know yeah. what I think I can do, though? I'm pretty sure these fucking guys... You need to shoot them down. Yeah, nice. I'm pretty sure they don't like that shit at all. Perhaps not. Also, where are those dragonflies? Uh, I didn't see any. Oh, there it is. <laughs> wow. A lot easier to kill once you have the bow and arrow. Yeah, um, definitely. Where did you get the bow and arrow again? Here. Oh. I was not paying attention to that. Yeah, it was when I beat the when I beat the lizard. Oh yeah. Nice. I am almost out of arrows though. Uh oh. Oh, but check this out. If I break break the bubble. And then uh Nice. Yeah, and then equip this. Oh god. Boop. Yes. Come to me. I don't like it. And then uh I think there's a uh, some kind of Oh, there's a switch. There's a switch somewhere. Hmm. I know it. I can feel it. I can feel that there's a switch somewhere. I can't remember where it is. Don't you feel like there's a switch? Um, I don't know. I don't no. really have a good feel for these. For these? Well, just the fire platforms. Wow, there's more fairies over there. There sure is. I should get them. Well, I want to figure out what I need to be figuring out. Yeah. Is uh where where how to turn the fire off. Yeah. You're probably right about there being a switch to turn off. Whoa. You're doing it backwards. <laughs> backwards man, backwards man. I can go backwards faster than you can. I can go backwards faster than you can. <laughs> there's gotta be there's a switch. Why wouldn't there be a switch? Um, because they want you to burn. No. That's not really the Zelda MO. <laughs> Unless we're talking about Skyward Sword. Oh, hell, that game's bad. Burn. That is not uh, at all revolutionary. There it is. Where? Those fucking tricksters. It's right there. What? That gray diamond thing? Yep. Why am I almost out of arrows? Ugh. There we Got go. Got it. Yeah! I think I only have a certain amount of time. If you're on your second day, my friend. No, 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 I mean before the... Fire comes back on? Yeah. No! No! I hope it's just off forever. <laughs> oh, actually, since I turned it off, I wonder if I can go this way. And, uh, just be... Fairy. Nice. I forget how many there are. I might actually be, um... Way far away from getting them all. In which case... <clears throat> I'm not gonna make these. Fuck! Yeah. Did you hear it too? It is a time thing. There is a time thing. Okay. But I think I can do it from this side. So if I hit this... And then, uh, you can... I can do this, I can do this, and then I think I can get over to that one from here easier than trying to get to it from the other side. Nice. Hey, what's good, fam? I'm doing this shit. I told you guys I could do this, and it wouldn't be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh. not crazy to expect me to be able to do this, okay? Dad. I can do it, Dad. Dad. Look at me, Dad. I'm doing there's, it. There's no way my dad is seeing these episodes. <laughs> Not like I won't share them. I just he's too busy shoveling snow. Yeah, man. Just in time for it to fall again. Just in time for Christmas. Can you believe it? Huh. I was gonna try to make that subtle, but like, it's almost Christmas time. It sure is. This guy also creeped me the fuck out when I was a kid. I don't like how it makes sounds. It? Wow. Racist. I don't know what it is. Is it a statue? No, is he's, it he's somebody like a... in a suit? Wow, wow. His sword just hurts me. 
just from him waving it around. Wow, that's bullshit. Oh, Jesus. There we go. He does some crazy bullshit later, too. Uh, his, uh, pattern on him is, like, freaking me out. His pattern? Like, oh. all the shield or whatever. Yeah. It's, like, freaking my ass. Also, his movement is really fucking yeah. weird. You know, I think this guy is... I think this might be a little racist. You think so? Just a little bit? Oh, wow, these are creepy. Creepier uh, than I remember. Creepy spiders. Oh, yeah, because he's dancing. Yeah, it seems like a weird, like, African yeah. thing. I don't know, maybe I'm being all PC and weird about it. But it seems, it seems a little, uh, It seems kind of suspicious. It seems kind of suspicious. And the Japanese are not known for their sensitivity. Um, no. Especially not in the 90s. Yeah, they were kind of racist. <laughs> they were. <laughs> like, they stopped being racist. Um, I mean... Definitely, one of those things, some of them are still racist, but I think they've gotten better since the 90s. Well, I think that's because they live in a world where there's, like, backlash in other countries. Yeah. Where there wasn't before. Yeah, that's true. Like, we didn't really care about Jinx when Jinx came out. The Pokemon I'm referring to. Like, oh, I thought you were talking about League of Legends for some reason. I was like, no, because why? Do, why would we be mad about Jinx? <laughs> Anyways, yes, the Pokemon. Yeah, Jinx. I mean, I'm as I'm sure everybody knows, Jinx is the most racist Pokemon. Um, and I'm surprised it's not banned yet. Well, because they changed the color when it first came out. It was like black, black. And they changed the color from black to, to purple, purple, right? Like yeah. a lavender, and they were like, oh, it's fine now. It, but it's like, it's still got the big, hey, fucking did it. Nice. Still got the big lips. I just, the way he's like a tribal thing dancing around. Yeah, I think there's some, there's some distinctively Japanese racism there. Yeah. I they don't... also don't see a whole lot of black people from what I understand. Um, if you see them in like animes or in, yeah. like, they're drawn super fucking racist. That's so. true too, yeah. They're drawn like our old fucking old like timey old timey Bugs Bunny cartoons drew. Yeah, yeah. That's how Japan still That's draws how, black yeah, people. Yeah, it's still drawn that way <laughs> in Japan. So, oh Japan. Well, now I can sit back. I'm gonna learn a song from the giant. And that'll be the end. <sighs> so in the uh, the second episode, when I confronted the Skull Kid on the clock tower, uh, Tail told me Swamp. Hot tail. Swamp, mountain, uh, ocean canyon, yeah. right? And she said the four that are there, bring them here. So she was referring to these guys. Oh. These are the the giants. Giant spirits. Is he singing? Yep. He's teaching me a song. He's like, this one's called Bees in the Trap. <laughs> <laughs> ba -ba bees in the Trap. I'm Bees in the Trap. Bees, Bees, bees in, in the, the Trap. trap. <laughs> Could that crying be its way of teaching us some sort of melody? <laughs> Bees in the trap! <laughs> oh my god. Now do that on your ocarina. So now this is the, the oath to order. Now what does this sound do? Uh, it does a thing. Cool. Being coy. So what it does is it calls the giants... To clock town when the moon is falling. Oh, and they have but, a giant party. Yeah, they they all uh, work together to lift up the moon. It's really crazy. And the Skull Kid gets pissed. He's like, "What the fuck? Why are the giants That's here?" That's insane. Because in his mind, it's only been the three days. But the giants are outside of time, just like you. That's so cool. Yeah, and the thing is, um, it's super weird. I remember playing this as a kid. Uh, doing this temple and being super excited I was like oh the giant's gonna help me yeah and I let it get to the third day and I went to the tower yeah and I played the oath of the order and the one giant showed up and then Tattle was like 
one giant's not strong enough. And I was like, oh no! Oh you're funny. <laughs> yeah, so he's saying to call us. Call me anytime. I'm not really doing much. So we are we are pretty much, we are almost done with the swamp. Yay! Um, all the, all the... All the water's purifying, All right? the water's pu- purified. Yeah! We didn't find the princess, though. Ah, that's what you think. Yeah, because we didn't find the princess. That's what you think princess. in your little brain. We didn't, though. Yeah, but what do you think's in there? I don't know. What do you think is in there? Treats. Yeah? Yeah. You know what I think is in there? Okay. Yeah, I know, the four people. I just explained this, Tattle. Weren't you listening to me? God. Uh... <laughs> you were pretty good out there. Have you done this before? Yes. I did Haven't it with way you? more dungeons. It was bullshit. <laughs> Half of them were garbage. One was underwater, and it sucked. It was the worst one. <laughs> oh, Tattle apologizes. Character development. Like a, sin- really. like a sincere apology, not the like half-assed apology. So, we will be going to the mountains, but first... Fuck! We're gonna have to deal with this. Should we do that next time? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Obviously. But, yeah. um, you know. I wanna... I wanna... Show you. First. Because this is the, the, the last one that we're doing in this session. So yeah. I need to be able to go and save, and I want to show the people. What's going on? <clears throat> What's going on? I'm like zoomed in on her skirt like she's hiding something in there. Yeah, she's hiding plant secrets. <laughs> Under that skirt? So she's pissed off that her dad's trying to kill the monkey, obviously. Duh. And uh, she's like, you need something to carry me. What? So here's the thing about that. How about the steak? This is gonna seem ridiculous. I let this fairy go because I didn't need it because I'm that fucking good. <laughs> Too good. Yeah. <laughs> Snagged it right up. I got the Deku Princess in a bottle. How it's a tight it? fit, but it'll be fine. All right, Gothwix, this was weird. Let's go. All right, guys. So that's it for this episode. We will turn in the princess next time. Yeah. And uh, we will head on towards the mountains next time. Yeah, and you guys have a have a great Christmas. Have a good have or a good just time. a regular ass Sunday if you don't celebrate yeah. Christmas. Have all the yeah. You know what? You know? Have a regular ass Sunday. Have if you're good... if you're Jewish, have a wonderful whatever week that is. Because that's <laughs> like whatever it is you do. It's like no, it's it's eight, it's Hanukkah. It's eight days. I don't, I don't know, remember what. Days I don't it know is. which eight days. Yeah. But I know that it's eight days, and I want you to enjoy that. I think Kwanzaa is multiple days also. Yeah. I um, so. I think... I'm sure there's others. You know, there's a there's lot other of... There's other shit that happens in December. Yeah. So, I so just know. enjoy whatever you're doing, you know? Have a good time. Uh, we'll be we'll be having our little holiday celebration. Yeah. Um, right here at the Red, Red Hat office. Right, right here at the Red Hat, the studio here. That we live in. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to make out with this owl. <laughs> All right, bye. Bye.